Hello students, now we are going to continue our lesson scientific study about which we have finished number of lessons. Last time we have discussed about the challenges of different achievements of science and then we discussed that what precautions should we take when we are working in laboratories. And today we are going to read about scientific measurements not in so detail but we will discuss little bit about it and especially we will learn that why and how scientific notations are used in science. Okay? So, our today's main topic will be that. So, as usual, today also I am going to keep one question in front of you. At first think about it. What may be the question? Yes, the question is, what was the condition of science if there was no measurement? Oh, science without measurement. Think once. Oh, very difficult. Yes, really, very difficult to learn science without measurement. So, here what is measurement? At first we will discuss. At first you see here some instruments are shown here. Some of them are familiar with us and some are not familiar. Later when you will study science in higher classes, you will use them to measure things in laboratories. But some of them are very common, different type of balances, scales, they are not uh, familiar to you, you know that is measuring tape, cylinders, conical flask that may be measuring flask also, here burette, yes burette that is also not familiar to you. Okay. So, they are different devices by using which we measure different values, different physical quantities. Can you recall that who are they called who invent different means of measuring tools? I told you metrologists yes metrologist and meteorologist to different terms i uh, told you last time okay so what is scientific measurement comparison of a physical quantity with a known magnitude termed as unit is called measurement so very simple definition already you have done in junior classes about it so here by using different instruments, we measure different physical quantities, we express them with number and related units. Sometimes these things that means the values are very big, very small. At that time what do we do? Later we will discuss, but uh, physical quantities are compared with units to measure things in general also in laboratories also. Okay? And here scientific measurement of physical quantities especially expressed in what? Scientific notation. Yes. So, today's target as I told you is what? Scientific notation. Before starting about scientific notation, at first here I am introducing two numbers. Look here. It is size of virus. Can you read easily? How much it is given? Oof, 0, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 7. 0. There are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then 1 meter. So, what will you say? 1 divided by how many? So, it is very difficult to write as well as to read. It is very small number. In fact, 1 upon 1 and then 11 0. So, it will be difficult to read. Yes. Now, look here. It is mass of the earth. Oh, oh so many zeros. If you count, their zeros are 24 zeros. So, it is also very difficult to read, to write. It takes long time to write. It takes more space to write. So, in different ways uh, to write very big and very small numbers in this way is very difficult. Yes, that is why we have to use scientific notations. If the same thing, okay, later we will practice about it, we can uh, show these numbers in very short form also. For example, size of virus is given uh, after decimal, you can count the number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then there is what? 1. If you will, you can write it very easily, 
that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 11. Now just compare which one is easier to read upper one or lower one which one takes less time to write which one can be read easily yes same thing with mass of the earth about which you are given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 oh 24 zeros so if it is expressed in this way then it will take less time or what here it is in meter and it is in kg so obviously that one is easier so these things how can we write how can you express the numbers in this pattern we will learn in today's lesson and widely it is used in different lessons in numericals etc so that is called a scientific notation about which we are going to discuss. Yes, so I think carefully you have to understand it. What is scientific notation then? In fact, very small and very big numbers are written in power of tens as I wrote there. I wrote 10 to the power minus 11. So 1 into is not written, doesn't matter. Only 10 to the power minus 11 was enough. but I wrote that 1 into 10 power minus 11, meaning is same. Okay, very small and very big numbers are written in power of tens, which is called as scientific notations. And here you can see that 10, 10 is easy to write, doesn't matter, not necessary to write in this form, but we can write 10 to the power 1, not used to write, we can, but meaning is same. And if there is 0 0.1, 10 to the power minus 1. Yes, like that, you can see other numbers. Look here. So, how can we write, how can we express them? That is, this positive power is for those numbers which are multiple of 10, bigger number. And for smaller numbers, this power will be negative. These powers will be negative. So, keep in mind that about rule, we will discuss later. Just you have to see that so long number can be written in this form, so long number, although it is a smaller, can be written in this form. Yes? Okay. So it is 10 to the power 1, 2, 3. Here, gap of 3, that means 1000 times bigger and then 1000 times bigger. Here, 10 times smaller. From that, 10 times smaller. From that, this one is 10 times smaller. From that, this one is 1000 times smaller. And from that number, this one is also thousand times smaller okay now next here we are we see that some size some sizes how are they expressed later we will practice don't worry just see examples only here is one example size of eukaryotic cell that is 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 3 meter here I am using all the units in meter. In your book, they may be in some other units also. So if you have get confused anywhere, you can search in that means website also, you can find correct answer there. Okay. So size of eukaryotic cell varies in between that size 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 3 meter. You know eukaryotic cell, that is very that means fam familiar term for you eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are those living cells which have distinct nucleus and distinct organelles in them. And prokaryotic cells are those which do not have distinct nucleus, which do not have distinct nuclear membrane. Bacteria cell is prokaryotic. Yes? Okay. So pro prokaryotic cells size is smaller than them. 10 to the power minus 12 to 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Yes. Okay. Size of a molecule. It may be 10 to the power minus 18 meter. Yes. Then size of an atom. 10 to the power minus 19 meter. Then speed of light in here. 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Yes. Next. Mass of the earth. Already I have written here. I was written there. That is 6 into 10 power 24 kg 
and mass of the sun is bigger than the earth that is 2 into 10 power 30 kg. Yes, so look here, it, they are expressed in power of tens. So all of them are scientific notations. So here, just examples of scientific notations are given to you. Now we are coming, that means we are going to learn how to write, how can we write scientific notations. Okay, so at first we are going to discuss about some terms used in scientific notation. For example, the distance between the sun and the earth is 1, 5 and after that look here how many zero? 3, 6, 9 and 10, 10 zero after that meter. So this number we are going to express in scientific notation. So here it is written in this form and you are seeing that different colors are used here in fact to make you understand different terms used for used for these numbers okay these terms they, are, they have different terms okay so at first you have to identify the location of decimal and you have to put decimal after a single digit only if it is bigger than one i mean if the number is multiple of 10 then for a smaller number i will tell you in other examples so here location of decimal is in between 1 and 5 here it is clear yes after that you have to count the number behind the decimal including the digit i mean that may be numerical and zero both so already we have counted there are 10 zero and one another digit is here five so altogether how many does it here above is given there are there are 11 digits so 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 is written for big number yes in them the one the number before decimal is called as coefficient it is called as coefficient remember it the term and the number which is written after decimal is called as mantisha and this mantisha is better to use up to two numbers instead of 1.5 you can write 1.50 that's also good but it is not good to use number of digits after decimal for very small uh, values we use that also but generally we use only two numbers after decimal our mantisa is used of two digits but it is not hard and fast rule yes next thing that is base on which we give power it is base so third component we have finished one component coefficient the next one is mantisha next one is base and the final component is what index or you can say exponent to which we say power in common yes so these four terms are of scientific notations not only that after that we have to know some rules related with scientific notation so these rules or laws of scientific notations are number one is base is always 10 base is always 10 you cannot write 1.5 then power you have to write into 10 to the power yes next one is the index must be non-zero index means the power must be non-zero and either positive or negative positive symbol is not given if there is no symbol that means it doesn't mean that it is zero it shows positive if there is for example you can see here here i wrote 6 into 10 to the power 24 take earlier example here it means that this power is what that is positive 24 okay another example i wrote 1 into 10 to the power minus 10 consider one number not necessary to write that that is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 so if sign of minus it is given then index is negative if any symbol is not given then that index is positive so it is never zero okay it is uh, number is always uh, one or more and it is either positive or negative okay so that thing you will keep in mind so in which condition you will use 
positive index, in which condition you, you will use negative, condi, uh, negative in index, we will discuss later also. The coefficient varies in between 1.1 1 .1 and 9, as I told you, not after 15, after 1 you have to place decimal, because after placing decimal, the number before decimal will be coefficient, that should not be greater than 9, yes, and that should not be in decimal also, so at least 1. The number varies in between 1 to 9. If a given number is multiple of 10, that is bigger than 1, the decimal point has to be moved to the left and the index will be positive as we did in the case of mass of the earth. And unlike it, if given number is smaller than 1, the decimal point has to be moved to the right and the index will be negative. So, these things we will follow in some examples, okay. So, now you are going to practice. At first, you are given size of smallest eukaryotic cell. You do in your copy. You try to do. And if you like to understand one example more, look here. How many zero are here? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0 and then 1. That is given the size of, uh, is, uh, that means smallest eukaryotic cell, smallest because there is a range, but the smallest one is of that size. That meter should be there, yes, meter. So here your decimal should be what? In fact, we are going to write, here decimal is here. But our, we have to write 1 into 10 to the power. So our decimal shifts what? Isn't it? Our decimal shifts there. And what happens now? How many digits after decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here it will be 10 to the power and not only 7 but minus 7. Instead of that, we will write 10 point, sorry, 10 to the power minus 7 and meter also we have to write with it. Okay. So, in this way you have to do about others. There are in examples as we are going to discuss, there are some bigger units, some smaller units, both are given here. So, in this way you have to try. Okay. Do next one. The smallest prokaryotic shell. Later, you will compare with the work on the board, but at first, you try. Okay, so here, how many zero? Count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 0, and then 1. Here are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 0, and 1. So, it is, what have you done? It is not so difficult, 11, 0 and then 1. That is what? 10 to the power minus 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it will be? Yes? Okay. Others do yourself. Next one. Size of molecule. Size of molecule. In the same way you have to do. What have you got? Okay, students, have you got your result 10 to the power minus 18 because 17, 0 plus 1. So that is one digit also you have to count. So that is 10 to the power minus 18. If you have got it, it's okay. Otherwise, you find out where have you mistaken. Next number, size of atom is given. How many zero here after decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 0 and then 1. So, that will be what? Have you got it? Oh, 19. 18, 0 plus 1. That is 19. So, all of them are example of what? Very small numbers. Mass of the earth already done. So, very easily you try. I am not going to give its example now. 
because already we have done it just count and write but here I will help you to count again the 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 finally next one oof this number and here 0 how many 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 30 zero. so for your correction about the earth already you have written 10 to the power 24 kg and last one is mass of the sun your answer should be 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg yes so if you have got these numbers that means it is correct otherwise find your problem yeah it's okay okay some more example i would like to give you one more example because here the number may be in this way also 0 0.1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 5 3 then what will you do i told you that the decimal should be written after single digit so you cannot write here again that decimal no otherwise you have to write here 153 so your decimal will be here that will be the location of location of decimal will be here yes and now you have to count these digits so you will write 1.53 into look 1.53 into how many digits are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that will be 10 to the power minus 8. Just number. I am not writing here unit. So such type of numbers also may be to write in power of 10. In big numbers, no problem. But in small numbers, that may, fit, that may create problem for you. That's why I have given this example also. Later, when we will practice, we may get that thing okay so after that you can try by taking different numbers from your book from other sources and try uh, again and again to write uh, in scientific notations and that will improve your habit and while doing numericals then also use this type of notation that makes easier the calculation we will see in short about calculation also okay after that, we are going to read about metric prefixes. Here, main unit is given meter, gram, liter. But in our use, we use kilogram, kilometer, milligram, centigram, centimeter, millimeter, isn't it? So, they are some words used before the main unit. Such words are called as prefixes and those which are added in last they are called as suffixes but here we have to use what prefixes used in metric system of measurement so look here some milli centi deci they are some prefixes which decrease the value of main unit because look here minus deci here meaning also you have to understand deci means what 10 to the power minus 1 milli is sorry centi is 10 to the power minus 2 and milli is 10 to the power minus 3. So, we memorize these terms that will help you to convert one type of unit into other type of unit also. Yes. Now, next is deca, hecto, kilo. Deca, hecto, kilo, they are bigger units than main units. So, such bigger units are called as multiples. And smaller units are called as sub multiples. Not only that, there are some more smaller and bigger units. Here I am going to introduce you 
some more places look here they are micro smaller than milli nano is smaller than micro pico is smaller than nano smaller than pico is also found femto smaller than femto octo about which we do not have to use in our science that's why not necessary i'm not giving here okay some multiples bigger than kilo mega then giga tera up to tera i have used here because we use nowadays terabyte tb in computers so what is tera what is gigabyte gb so these terms that's why up to here i have taken in fact there are bigger than it after tera there is pita and bigger than pita there is exa and the gap is of 1000 so here why i am keeping them at separate place and they together you will find that from main unit the difference is of 10 times so they are fundamental for memory work some things we have to memorize each and everything we should not memorize but there are some things some facts to which if we memorize our study becomes easier so you have to memorize these fundamental terms milli centi deci main unit deca hepto kilo is it difficult to memorize if you are repeating two three times milli centi deci main unit deca hecto kilo so repeat it milli centi deci main unit deca hecto kilo and their values main unit is one after that above main unit there is what at first deci deci is 10 to power minus one above deci there is what centi 10 to power minus two above centi there is milli that milli is what 10 power minus 3 like that below main unit there is deca that is 10 times greater so 10 or 10 to the power 1 same thing after deca there is what hecto hecto is 100 times bigger 10 to power 2 and kilo is 1000 times bigger 10 to power 3 we know that 1 kilometer has 1000 meter 1 kilogram has 1000 gram so kilo means 1000 instead of 1000 we are saying kilo difference is only that and same thing is with, with all the prefixes here micro means 10 to the power minus 6 so here all the values are given but you must remember these things others are optional because we have to use in our practice nanometer that is used in the size of virus nanometer so because here three were given so here up to pico given but up to nano you should know yes nano means 10 power minus 9 so here gap is of 1000 10 to power minus 6 10 to power minus 9 10 to power minus 12 yes okay so after having a general idea about these terms you can interrelate them and that will help you a lot to convert one type of unit into other unit some practices also will do and i will continue this practice in next class also because here total practice will not be enough so little bit time i will give you next class also some practices about that matrix prefixes but here okay so the place you know conversion of matrix prefixes some practices will do here all together are kept here from tera to pico already we have discussed but the gap from here to there of 1000 from here to here gap of 10 and then again the gap is 1000 yes so out of them which one is main unit yes that may be meter gram liter and those few who decrease decrease the value of main unit they are called as sub multiples some multiples are pico, nano, micro, milli, centi, deci and multiples are those which are bigger than main unit deca, hecto, kilo, mega, giga, tera they are bigger than main unit and their value you must keep in your mind once remember again milli 10 to power minus 3 centi 10 to power minus 2 deci 10 to power minus 1 meter gram and liter they are main units 
Deka, 10, to, uh, 10 times more, that is 10 times bigger, hecto 100 times bigger, 10 to the power 2, kilo 10 to the power 3, after that mega 10 to the power 6, then after mega there is giga 10 to the power 9 and last one is tera, here last one, but there are some bigger also 10 to the power 12, others also increase their value by 3, yes, okay. And here only the statement will not be enough to understand, I will give you example. So at first, in the first step, if you are converting one type of unit into other, consider you have to convert nano into nanometer into meter, then how will you do? Or you are converting megameter into meter, how will you do? So for that, in the first step, a unit with prefix should be changed into main unit for it. At first, I will give you example for such only. Consider you are going to change uh, 4.5 into 10 to the power 12 centimeter into meter. At first, uh, we are going at the landing place only, that is main unit. Later, I will change into meter, kilometer also, don't worry. So, here at first you have to think that are you changing a smaller un unit into bigger or bigger into smaller and according to that you have to do action. Let us see what is told here. If the number is that means the unit to which you are going to change into bigger unit like it, then what will you do? For that what is given? If a smaller unit with prefix has to be changed into bigger unit, then negative index value of the prefix is multiplied. So do not be confused that I am saying here to multiply, a smaller is going to be changed into bigger, but I am saying that multiply with negative value, negative value of index. For example, you are going to change this centimeter into meter, a smaller into bigger. At first copy it, 4.5 into 10 to the power 12 do not write centimeter, into write the value of centi, you have to, you have kept in mind what is centi, 10 to the power minus 2, because you are changing smaller into bigger, then in negative power you have to keep it, do not worry, here you do not have to change power, that is, I mean change sign, in same uh, sign you have to keep, 10 to the power minus 2, then what will be it, in fact you are dividing it because that negative number makes that work, yes. So here it will be what, 4.5 into 10 to the power 10, here meter, because already you have written centi and that will be what, meter, so here that meter. Any calculator is not required, that is why we have to use scientific notations, it makes easier the calculation also, okay. Other unit, say we are going to change 3.65 into 10 to the power 5 kilogram into gram, then what will you do? Consider another example. At first you will write the number as it is, 3.65 into 10 to the power 5. We are going to change kilogram into gram. Kilo is multiple or some multiple? Yes, multiple. Multiple means bigger than gram. You are changing bigger unit into smaller unit. In this condition, you will write the value in what? Here kilogram has to be changed and its value is what? Positive and you will write its positive value 10 to the power 3. Then that will be how many gram? Here you can write gram because kilo is written here. Kilo means 10 to power 3 then its value will be 3.65 into 10 to the power 8 gram. Have understood? But if you are changing, you are given to change. Another example I am giving in which I am not going to change into main unit. I am going to change into other unit. For example, 2.49 into 10 to the power 11 centimeter has to be changed into kilometer. 
I'm not changing into meter. Then what to do? Look, here first step should be here what is given in the first step a unit with prefix should be changed into main unit for that it is given here at first go into main unit at first it change it into meter so 2.49 into 10 to the power 11 centi is smaller smaller is going to be changed into bigger so write the value of centi 10 to the power minus 2 and write here meter. We are not changing in kilometer. At first meter. Okay. So what is that? 2.49 into 10 to the power 11 minus 2 is 9. But you have to go up to what? Kilometer. Which one is greater? Meter or kilometer? Again kilometer is greater. So here you cannot write 10 to the power 3. Be careful. Because smaller is going to be changed into bigger. So that value should be negative. That thing is given here. Yes, in which condition you have to use negative index and in which condition you have to use positive index. So here it will be what? 2.49 into that will be kilogram. Yes, because uh, 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 yes, here it will be what? Kilometer. Because here it is not power of kilo. It is, sorry, it is not um, the value of kilo. It is lesser, thousand times lesser. So it is negative value. So it will be what? Kilometer. And in this condition, 10 to the power, 9 minus 3, that will be what? 6 kilometer. So look, calculator is not required. If the same thing you are using big numbers to multiply, to change, then it will take long space, long time and more chance of mistake. But here very easily you can convert one unit into other unit and you will be perfect if you are practicing again and again. Okay. Later next time also we will repeat but you try to get your perfection in this one approach. Okay. So here are given some values to which you have to change now your work. Do it, change it kilometer into centimeter. Do okay. After that, later I will do it. Don't worry, you, you can compare your answer with mine, but at first try yourself. First one is 6.25 into 10 to the power 8 kilometer. Yes, 8 kilometer into sorry, 8 kilometer into centimeter. Yes, it is not going up to fundamental only. Next one is, okay, I'm giving a space. Next one is, you try to do it. 4.5 into 10 to the power 12. What unit? Milligram into kilogram. Into kilogram. Third is 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 millimeter into meter centimeter okay so at first discuss about them what will you do it 6.25 10 to the power 8 and then you will write here you are going to change kilometer into meter at first kilometer into meter bigger into smaller so value of kilo you will write positive because bigger into smaller and that will be meter no problem here after that 6.25 into 8 plus 3 so that is 11 now you are going to change it into centimeter so meter is bigger or centimeter is bigger you have to compare immediately into and here value of centi is in negative but here you are not going to use negative value why because bigger unit has to be going to change into a smaller one. So don't be confused here. Why I'm writing 2? Because I am multiplying this number, not dividing. Yes. And that will be what? Centimeter. So after that, you can get 6.25 into 
into 10 to the power 11 plus 2, 13 centimeter. Yes. Next one. 4.5 into 10 to the power 12. After that, you have to change milligram into gram. That is, you have to write value of milli into minus as it is. So that will be gram. Yes. Later, 4.5 into 10 to the power 12 minus 3 is what? 9. And then you have to change it into what? Kilogram. So for kilo, you have to write the value of kilo. But you will not write only 3. Why not? Because the smaller is going to be changed into bigger. So you are dividing in fact. You are writing here minus 3. And then it will be what? Kilogram. That will be 4.5 into 10 to the power 6 kilogram. Like that, you will practice others. Yes. Okay. And these things already given. Okay. Now, in the last of the lesson, we are going to do some question answer. At first, you look about that question. Which one is Mantisha in 6.25 into 10 power 8 centimeter? What is your answer? It is 25. Mantisa is the number after decimal. Yes. Okay. Next one. Which of 8.5 into 10 power 6 kilometer is prefix? Prefix. Very easily you have guessed. That is K because prefix is the word used before the main unit. Which of following make easier to read and write very small and very big numbers? It is also very easy question. I think all of you have guessed. That is scientific notation. Next, which one shows the value of nano? Do you remember value of nano? Easy, very similarity in nano and its value. Yes, now you have guessed that is 10 power minus 9, 9 nano. Yes, okay. Now there are some questions. Copy them and answer these questions. The questions are defined scientific notation. How does the scientific notation help? In scientific measurement, define metric prefix, convert the following as instructed. So here, from here you have to change bigger number, you have to convert them into scientific notations as instructed, from here you have to convert unit also. So you will do and here very difficult things are given about which we will discuss in next class. Okay, Centimeter square into decimeter square, today we have not practiced, try to do, can you do or not and where you have mistaken. In next class, we will be clear. Okay, students, that's all for today. Thank you very much. <music>